Welcome back, everyone, to Ferris Sports Update. Bulldog volleyball team is uh, in action this year and is off to a great start with this head coach, Tia Branda Wilhelm. Coach, great to have you with us today. Oh, thanks for having me. Busy week this past week. Uh, you started off playing Grand Valley, stayed at home on Wednesday night, a big rivalry match, and your team uh, really played well. 3-0 to zero Bulldog victory. Yeah, it was it was a closer game than 3-0. Definitely, Grand Valley's got a really nice team, but we were very happy to come away with that win. The weekend uh, saw you play in Lake Superior State and Northwood, both 3-0 to zero wins. Uh, talk about your performance maybe overall over the three matches of the week. Well, I thought blocking became a big important part of our game on the weekend. I thought we were able to, between our serve and our block, really take some pretty good teams out of their offense and, and ask them to do some, you know, some different things. So I thought that really helped and contributed to our team. We've got some highlights, I know, of the Lake Superior State match on uh, Saturday, and your team uh, got off to a, a great start, winning uh, all three sets uh, in, in pretty convincing fashion, a team that you had a chance to scout maybe in the Ferris State Invitational earlier in the year, but uh, really got off to a great start and continued that play through. Yeah, the first set was pretty close, actually. I don't think we actually really tied it up until 22-all, and uh, Lake State just came out and, and hit really well out of the outside and um, really had some, you know, some great swings there. You'll see in the highlights right there actually where Mallory Copa came into the match and just put down a couple really big blocks on the outside, which changed the tempo of the game, I thought, for Lake State. Your team has uh, been unbeaten at home, 7-0 and at home this season. Uh, talk about how big of a home court advantage that's been for you guys. Well, we have a fantastic crowd. I mean, our, our fans are just unlike no other, and they're so... Um, they're into the game, they're excited, and, and there's a lot of energy in the game when they're there. So we're always excited to play home and you know, to try to play well for our fans because we know how much they do for us. You're off to an 8-1 and one start, as, uh, as we mentioned. Uh, Bulldogs uh, having a lot of success. Your team that's kind of been right on the brink of the national rankings and, and hopefully climbing into the rankings this week. Uh, talk about the expectation coming into the season, and, and did you expect that type of success here early on? You know, we're just always taking it one game at a time. We know where we, we want to be at the end of the year, but um, I think our program always has high expectations. And we're just like any other year. It's, it's one practice at a time, one day at a time, one match at a time. And, just try to get a little bit better every day and hope that it's enough when you play. I know you've got a, a nice mix of some younger players, some veteran players uh, that are back this season. Uh, talk about some of the strengths of your team and, and how those players have all blended together. Well, I'm really pleased with our, our upperclassmen and their leadership. I think they're really doing a nice job of keeping the team on task and handling things that come up uh, quickly and decisively and keeping the lines of communication open with our team. We have two seniors, Ashley Hunty and Lisa Tobacek, and they have been great leaders and, and really set a tone for the whole team. As you look ahead uh, to this coming week, uh, you've got a three-match homestand this weekend, yes. uh, three big matches, uh, starting with Finley on Friday at noon. You play Hillsdale on Saturday and Wayne State on Sunday. Uh, talk a little bit about the opponents this week and, and what you expect coming into those matchups. Well, these are South Division teams, so we only play them once in the season. So when you play them, it's it's real important to uh, get off on a good, you know, good note, and uh, it's important to do well against all three of them. I know uh, a number of different promotions going on with this weekend, uh, trying to entice some of the fans to come out and support the Bulldogs. Uh, yeah. Talk a little bit about the activities going on. Well, Friday is a faculty appreciation day, faculty and staff. So any faculty or staff at Ferris can get into the match for free. And we also have some schools that are coming, bringing some classes and, and from some of the local schools. So kind of a fun field trip for them. And Saturday we have a girls, uh, any girl under 14 is free with an adult. And, free admission and, and, it, and we have three women's sports teams playing home on Saturday with tennis and golf and volleyball so I think we're really trying to push you know the role models and to, and to get the young girls on campus and then Sunday we have a couple other things with some of the local churches and and it's Marysville day for Lisa Tobacek. I know I uh Bulldogs have had a success uh, going to Marysville in the past. Uh, talk about some of the players that yeah. you've had from there in the past. Oh, we've had a number of players from Marysville that have done really well here. Um, Tracy Lanshute, when I first came here, Brittany Gadluski was our first Libro and you know set all the records. And then we have Mallory Copa. We had Amanda Kettlewell and Lisa Tobacek now. So it's it's really been a great pipeline for us. I know you uh, mentioned these teams all coming from the South Division uh, that you're going to face this week in Hillsdale, a team uh, maybe that's uh, better known than some of the others in terms of having a strong volleyball tradition. Mm -hmm. Talk about what you expect uh, coming into Saturday's match with Hillsdale. Well, Hillsdale's going to be, you know, they're a very tough team and, you know, they have a, a very fast offense. They have a couple All-Americans on their team and, you know, we just, just 
try to do our thing and hope our strengths match up against theirs. As you look at the, the conference standings, I know it's still early in the year and you, mm -hmm. you don't want to look too far ahead, but who are some of the teams you expect to be there at the end of the season in terms of both the North and the South divisions? Well, I think the, the usual people will be there. You know, Hillsdale, Wayne State, Ashland um, in the South division are, are all very strong. North division has a few more. We've got Northern, uh, uh, Grand Valley, Saginaw Valley, Ferris. You know, I think those four teams will be at the top. With uh, three matches at home this week, I know you've had uh, a lot of matches at home already this season. Eventually, uh, you're going to have to hit the road a little bit and yeah. play eight of your final ten uh, conference matches on the road. Uh, talk about how important it is to really maintain that home court advantage here early in the year and, and what's going to happen down, down the road at the end of the year. Well, you know, it certainly is important to win at home. Um, the conference is tough, and so anytime you can... Anytime you can get a win anywhere you can, you, you're just really happy to get it. And we certainly want to do well at home. We, we really take a lot of pride in playing well and performing for our home crowd. So we, you know, we hope to do that. I know uh, a lot of your offense starts with your setter. Uh, you've got an experienced setter in Samantha mm -hmm. Fordyce. Uh, talk about what she's meant to your, your team and the experience she's gained and how that's helped her uh, coming into uh, this season. Yeah, Sam works really hard. I mean, she's very experienced. She's a technically very sound setter, and uh, she's got great experience and really good leadership. And she's her ability to run the offense and having that extra year under her belt when she redshirted has, has really benefited our team this year. As you look uh, down down the road towards the end of the year, what are some of the goals that you you have as a program and, a, and as a team as you, as you head into the to the home stretch postseason play later on in the, in the next month? You know, our team always has high goals. I think our most important focus, though, is to just stay focused on the day and just we we say in our team one percent better every day, and that's just if we can do that, then we can achieve our expectations and achieve our potential. Then we're going to be happy with that. As you think back, uh, it's already been a uh, uh, it's been a short season so far, but yeah. you've you've got a lot of matches in already. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about the the transition from uh, preseason camp into the season and and how things have went so far. Yeah, well, it's a real fast transition. Our our preseason is about two weeks, and and we start classes and we have that opening weekend tournament where you play some non-conference schools, and then you jump right into the conference play, which in the GLIAC, because it's such a tough conference, it's a, it's a very fast transition. Um, fortunately, we were able to scrimmage a bit in our preseason time, which helped us kind of see a little bit of what we were doing and, and get some experiences, um, how, how we're playing, and kind of see what we needed to improve on and work on. So, But just jumping right into the conference has been exciting, definitely. I know uh, it always ha helps to have a good group of captains, and, and you guys have a, a strong core of captains that mm -hmm. have uh, been able to gain some experience. Talk about those those senior captains and, and those players that are really helping lead the way. Yeah, well, our whole upper, all of our upperclassmen, you know, are great leaders, and everyone on our team has a leadership role, and they all do it, whether you're a freshman or fifth-year player. You know, everybody has their role. Our captains this year with Lisa Tobacek and Ashley Hunty, um, and then Samantha Fordyce and Allie Breck are really a good group. They they're very balanced and they really fit the needs of the team and the coaches. And as you uh, head into this weekend, uh, I guess as a final recap, uh, three big matches at home. Yeah. Um, what are maybe you see as the strengths of your team coming into those three matches, and and what do you expect out of this weekend? Um, I expect us to play well and get better every day. And you know, it's going to be a tough weekend, that's for sure. There's some big opponents coming in here, um, and I just you know want us to play well and stay in the moment. All right, well, best of luck this weekend, and thanks for being with us here on All Ferris right. Sports Update. Thank you. When we come back, we'll talk women's golf with uh, one of the Ferris State student-athletes, so stay with us on Ferris Sports Update.